Hi friends, is it possible to get a J-1 hardship waiver with the Department of State funding or government funding? And what does it look like? What kind of hardships are working now? That's what we're gonna discuss in this video. Make sure you watched until the very end because we're gonna discuss the details of how we recently got a case approved with Department of State funding, with the request for evidence, with medical hardship. First, let's deep dive into the processing time so you get an idea of what the processing times are now. We filed with USCIS and Department of State on June 14th, 2022. June 23rd, 2022, Department of State processed the cases received. USCIS issued an RFE on June 15th, 2023. Then the Department of State processed the I-613 from USCIS on November 12th, 2023. And Department of State issued a favorable recommendation on July 25th, 2024. And USCIS approved the case August 2nd, 2024. You'll see that the case took a little over two years. Why? There's a request for evidence. You can expect additional time. Second, there was also sponsor views that were requested as well. That also slowed things down as well. So you should expect a longer processing time if you have US government funding if you get a request for evidence. Now here, the qualifying relative was a lawful permanent resident and the applicant was from Bangladesh and he received Department of State funding. So this was even greater win for us because of the fact that the qualifying relative was not even a US citizen. And also there was US government funding involved. Anytime that there's US government funding, it's much more of a difficult case to win than a normal case without government funding. In the J-1 waiver, we demonstrated that there would be exceptional hardship if there is both separation and relocation. We do see people making errors sometimes when they come to us to rehabilitate their case after they filed it because they were only able to demonstrate exceptional hardship in one of those areas of relocation or separation. The applicant's spouse here was unemployed and had some serious medical conditions and also mental health conditions as well. We also discussed how she was getting her graduate degree and she was relying on her spouse for more than just mere emotional support. And this is really important in the preparation of J-1 waiver exceptional hardship cases, demonstrating that this is going to go beyond what would happen emotionally if it was just near separation. In this case, you relied on him for caretaking during the flare-ups and for emotional stability. If the applicant was forced to leave the U.S., his employment and his employer provided health insurance would have been terminating and that would have left his spouse without the necessary coverage to continue her treatment. And of course, if there's no health insurance with the medical condition that she had, we explained that this would have been devastating to her well-being, creating immense hardship. Now, what about relocating to Bangladesh? Well, that would have only worsened the situation. The applicant's spouse had not returned to Bangladesh since immigrating to the U.S., having had negative experience there and not feeling safe in the country. It also would have been very disruptive to her graduate education because she wouldn't have been able to pursue her graduate education if she had to go back to Bangladesh. And because of the poor country conditions, they would not have been able to meet their basic necessities as well. We were also able to present a strong argument for the applicant's professional contributions to the U.S., emphasizing his bachelor's and master's degrees and his valuable work in the United States. His qualifications, his dedication, and his employment in the U.S. were a great contribution to the U.S., which we highlighted as well. We were so grateful that our client retained us to be able to help them obtain their J-1 waiver. And now they're able to stay in the United States and be together. And that's why we do what we do. So I wanna get your thoughts and feedback on your experiences with the J-1 hardship waiver. Please put them below if you have questions as well. And by watching this video, you're bettering yourself. By bettering yourself, you're bettering your family. And by bettering your family, you're bettering the world. Thank you, bye for now.